हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ आवर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज रेजोल्यूशन टूडेज टॉपिक इज रेजोल्यूशन एंड इट्स टाइप्स सो वॉट डू यू मीन बाय रेजोल्यूशन अ रेजोल्यूशन इज द मिनिमम डिस्टन्स बिट्वीन टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स दैट कैन बी डिस्टिंग्विश इन एन इमेज रेजोल्यूशन इज मोस्टली रिलेटेड टू द इमेज कैप्चरिंग आफ्टर कैप्चरिंग एन पर्टिक्युलर इमेज हाउ क्लियर इट कैन बी सीन दैट इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन द रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ दैट सेंसर और ऑफ दैट कैमेरा द इफ इट इज लुकिंग ब्लर और इफ इट इज लुकिंग क्लियर दिस ऑल इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन द साइज ऑफ द पिक्सेल सो इन रिमोट सेंसिंग रेजोल्यूशन इज यूज टू रिप्रेजेंट द रिजॉल्विंग पावर विच इज़ द कैपेबिलिटी ऑफ आइडेंटिफाइंग द टू डिफरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट्स सो इफ टू डिफरेंट नियर बाय ऑब्जेक्ट्स और फेनामिनंस आर क्लियरली क्लासीफाइड और क्लियरली आइडेंटिफाइड देन वी हैव एन परफेक्ट रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ द सेंसर विच वी आर यूजिंग इन अ पर्टिक्युलर सैटेलाइट टॉकिंग अबाउट एन डिजिटल इमेज इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ पिक्सेल्स so each pixel consists of an particular information of the objects and this information represents the clarity of that object see for example uh, talking about the pixel size in resolution here is an 3 meter by 3 meter resolution image where you can see that this is red color is the surrounding area and blue color is of house so majorly you can see uh, like this uh, classification through pixel size but when you are getting output of such type of pixel you can see only a blue color over here in the next image when you are increasing the uh, decreasing the resolution decreasing the height of that sensor then you uh, you get an image of 5 meter by 5 meter pixel size that is here is 5 meter and here it is 5 meter accordingly 30 by 30 meter means this is this side and this side the square sides are 30 meter here the pixel is of 5 meter by 5 meter so same area but you get very detailed study where you can see that the surrounding area of the house is classified uh, by different pixels and each pixel have a certain information about that area so this each and every pixel have different information likewise this blue color also have different uh, various pixels over here some of the pixels here can classify that uh, in this one pixel you can see that uh, there is red color and blue color so this red color is the surrounding area and uh, simultaneously you can classify the blue color you can classify the boundaries of the house and the uh, nearby ground so likewise 5 meter by 5 meter image gives perfect classification and the output is like this this but here you can see that the area or one pixel which have major uh, or large area covered by which phenomenon that whole pixel in the output shows the same phenomenon like in this pixel more area is covered by house that is blue color so similarly our output shows completely blue color here when you are studying you cannot classify so we need more precise image of 1 meter by 1 meter resolution that is 1 meter by 1 meter pixel size and here you can classify the perfect boundary of the house and of the nearby ground and the output which we require is the perfect image through which we can classify the boundaries classify the objects or phenomenon which are present on our remotely sensed area so accordingly resolutions have four different types this is that is spatial resolution spectral resolution radiometric resolution and temporal resolution each resolution have its own different characteristic so talking about first resolution that is spatial resolution it is the measure of area or size of the smallest dimension on the earth surface over which an independent measurement can be made by the sensor so talking about the spatial resolution it can be used to measure the area or size of the smallest dimension means smallest 
objects can be measured by spatial resolution with different pixel sizes and it can be remotely sensed perfectly this spatial resolution is expressed only by the size of the pixel like in earlier image which we have seen the perfect example is of spatial resolution because it is completely depend on the size of the pixel which is measured with comparison of the area on the ground that is in meter that is 30 meter by 30 meter 5 meter by 5 meter or 1 meter by 1 meter the special resolution specifies the pixel size of satellite image covering the earth surface so accordingly if we have an image of high special resolution then the pixel size varies from 0 0.41 to 4 meter and if we are talking about the low special resolution so at that time we have the image with pixel size 30 meter up to 1000 meter or more than that so these are the classification of special resolution that is high and low so high special resolution have more clarity which shows more precise and clear image of smallest dimension and if we have to only classify uh, the land use or land cover so we can use low special resolution sensors which have 30 to 1000 meter resolution so here in this image we can see that if we have an image of 10 meter resolution so here we can classify it very clearly that where are the residential area where is the water body where are the roads so 10 meter resolution area shows clarity as if we take same image in 30 meter resolution so we can see that there is a specific blur and again if we take an 80 meter resolution area at same height so we can't classify any object or any phenomenon uh, that is point line and polygon cannot be classified in this data so these are the examples of spatial resolution so as we take an high resolution image we can easily classify the objects and boundaries talking about next resolution that is spectral resolution which is compare which is uh, comparatively studied with the spectral reflectance or uh, spectral that is uh, visible rays are involved in this resolution depending on the color bands we can classify the objects or image these all things are dependent in the spe spectral resolution so spectral emissivity curve is made to characterize the reflectance or emittance of the features or targets uh, over a variety of wavelengths so at a different wavelength in the visible radiations or in the IR radiations we can classify the images so different classes of features and details in an image can be distinguished by comparing these responses over distinct wavelength ranges broad classes such as water and vegetation can be classified by broad wavelength that may be visible or NIR and if we have to differentiate specific classes that may be uh, types of rocks or uh, types of vegetation in a forest so we need very specific and very fine wavelength ranges to separate these all uh, objects or phenomenons on the earth so as we have seen in spatial resolution we have high spa uh, spatial resolution and low spatial resolution classification similarly dependent on the bands of the color we have three type of spectral resolution that is high spectral resolution medium spectral resolution and low spectral resolution talking about high spectral resolution near about 220 color bands are used to classify any objects so we can classify very fine objects in these ranges when we have medium spectral resolution at that time we can use 3 to 15 color bands or wavelength so we have medium uh, separation or medium differentiation in classes or features on the earth and at low spectral resolution we can use only three bands uh, mostly it is used visible bands that is green blue and red and blue green and red and so we get very less or very um, 
broad wavelength ranges and only broad classes can be only classified by low spectral resolution so mostly to have uh, differentiation within very uh, specific classes or very minute classes we have to use high spectral resolution which have 220 bands so here we can see that if we are making spectral reflectance curve of a vegetation depending on the spectral resolution so we get uh, 0 0.4 that is blue color over here then slowly 0 0.5 uh, 0 0.6 and again in the 0 0.7 these all are uh, here these all are absorbed and only the green color is reflected and so we can see the spectral uh, spectra of vegetation is of green color okay so this is the spectral reflectance curve of vegetation here you can see different satellites which have captured the image of an particular area with number of spectral bands so as there are more number of bands here same image shows different classification and precisely we can identify or we can classify the broad classes of a particular image now third one is radiometric resolution this is the measure of sensors to differentiate the smallest change in the spectral reflectance or emittance between various ta targets actually uh, as spatial resolution is dependent on the pixels or spectral reflectance uh, spectral resolution is dependent on the spectra or number of bands accordingly radiometric resolution is re dependent on a digital number that is from 0 which have a power of 2 as it gets increased the darkness or the brightness of the image is also defined the radiometric resolution is mostly uh, for the images of panchromatic sensors which have black and white color uh, the imagery data are represented by positive digital numbers which vary from 0 to a selected power of 2 each bit records an exponent of power 2 so if we have 2 raise 1 raised to 2 then we have a digital number of 2 and the maximum number of brightness level is available dependent on the number of bits so if the sensor have 8 bits to record then we'll get 2 raised to 8 that is 256 as a digital value so accordingly varying from 0 to 255 if we have 0 as a digital number then we can get the image is completely white and if we have a digital number of 255 that means there is very dark tone uh, representing the image or representing the object uh, so if talking about uh, uh, with the example of an image here we can see that here is the two levels uh, that is 2 raised to 2 that is 4 as a digital number here you can see only black completely black or completely white but if we have more proper image of four levels that is 2 raised to 4 then here we can see that we have uh, here it is 1 raised to 2 sorry 1 raised to 2 that is only 2 levels so here we get a very proper Im uh, this type of image when we have an image of 2 raised to 2 power that is 4 level or 4 bit at that time here you can see that s slightly we can classify some or the few objects but here when we have the 2 raised to 3 power that is 8 level then we can see that more here we can identify these are the roads here you can see some bright ranges that is there is maybe some buildings again here are few residential areas here it is the dark tone that means here may be the uh, water like this we can classify and when we go to 2 raised to 4 power that is 16 level or 16 bit then again we can properly classify so like this we can in this image we have shown that when there is purely white color so it have a zero bit value and when there is very darkest tone 
of black color so we have 255 as a value so this is the example of radiometric resolution which is dependent on the digital numbers given in a black and white image which ranges from 0 to 202 255 and it is completely dependent on the exponent power of 2 that is 1 raised to 2 2 raised to 2 3 raised to 2 similarly next or uh, you can say last resolution that is temporal resolution temporal that means the images which are obtained after a particular time span so we can use the spatial or spectral image after a uh, certain time intervals and thus we can co uh, compare it as a temporal resolution. So temporal resolution is also called as repetitivity of a satellite. That is it is the capability of a satellite to image the exact same area at the same viewing angle at different period of time. That means we have a same area, we have a same angle of capturing and it the image is captured after a certain period of time so we it is called as temporal resolution the temporal re resolution is mostly used after uh, any floods or after any earthquakes any accidents like uh, nuclear disasters or atomic burst uh, burstings like this temporal resolutions are helpful for such incidents uh, mostly there are uh, four major incident or four major situations when temporal resolutions can be persistent cloud offers limited clear views of the earth surface if there is a cloud so you can't take the image so you have to take a image after a period of time short-lived phenomena need to be imaged so when floods oil slicks are can be seen earthquakes volcanoes so at that time after a period of uh, small time we can take the images multi-temporal comparison are required so when ag in agricultural you can take multi-temporal comparisons like uh, in Kharif, Rabi and summer season if we have three uh, seasons in agriculture so you can take three time the images like in Kharif you have a different crop in Rabi you have a different crop and also in summer similarly so you can help uh, temporal resolution is very useful at such time the changing appearance of a feature over time can be distinct can be used to distinguish it from near similar features like wheat and maize or you can say any flowering crop or any orchards if it is a growing season if it is sowing season then uh, you have a different image when you have a flowering season you have a different image when you when there is a fruiting season of a crop then you have a different image so you can uh, in a particular season also you can take the images of different span and uh, you can use this temporal resolution for your study so similarly as we have seen in spectral and spatial resolution the uh, temporal resolution is also classified as high temporal resolution medium temporal resolution and low temporal resolution in high you can take the image uh, within less than 24 hours to up to 3 days. In medium temporal resolution you can take the image from 4 to 16 days and in low temporal resolution you can take the time span between two images which can be more than 16 days. So these are the classification of temporal resolution. Here is an example of Trinket Island uh, which is situated in Andaman and Nicobar. Uh, uh, when uh, tsunami was occur, so before arriving of tsunami on uh, 21st December 2004, you can see the shape of the island was such, uh, uh, was like this. Then uh, soon after the tsunami occurred, that is on 26 December 2004, the satellite captured the image of tsunami island like this the, you can see most of the area was covered by water here you can see here in this image you can see a land but here whole area was cover, covered by water similarly in this area particularly you can see a major change here Ho this you can't see any type of land over here whole area was covered by water 
एंड देन मच आफ्टर द सुनामी दैट इज इन फोर जनवरी टू थाउजेंड फाइव विच यू कैन से दैट आफ्टर एट टू टेन डेज वेन द वॉटर और द होल वेव्स वर स्टैगनेंट एट दैट टाइम द फाइनल शेप ऑफ ट्रिंकट आईलैंड वॉज कम्प्लीटली चेंज यू कैन सी हाउ बिफोर द सुनामी द आईलैंड वॉज लाइक दिस एंड आफ्टर सुनामी द शेप ऑफ आईलैंड वॉज कम्प्लीटली चेंज द मेजर इफेक्ट यू कैन सी दैट दिस एरिया वॉज कम्प्लीटली चेंज ओनली इन टू सच टाइप ऑफ रोड ओनली कैन बी और लाइन कैन बी remained after the tsunami so likewise temporal resolution helps to see the changes after different incidents or accidents on the earth here also in 15th november 2009 there was an atomic uh, here like this there were uh, four reactors reactor 1 2 3 4 of the company but after the uh, explosion on 14th march 2011 you can see in reactor 3 uh, how the uh, smoke came out and how the reactor got burst and this area was completely affected by the blast so likewise you can see the changes by temporal resolution so here we have studied the spatial spectral radiometric and temporal resolution of any sensor thank you